Mustafa Mosharafa Pasha, July 11, 1898, January 15, 1950, was an Egyptian mathematician, born in Dumyat, graduated from the Higher Teachers School in 1917, and obtained a doctorate in Philosophy of Science Ph. D. from the University of London in 1923 and then was the first Egyptian to obtain a doctorate of science D. S.C. from England from the University of London in 1924, he was appointed Professor of Mathematics at the Higher Teachers School and then of Applied Mathematics at the Faculty of Science in 1926. He was awarded the title of Professor from Cairo University at the age of 30. His research was pursued by Einstein, the theorist of relativity, who described him as one of the greatest physicists. In 1936, he was elected Dean of the Faculty of Science, becoming its first Egyptian Dean. He received the title of bashaw e from King Farouk. He was taught by some of Egypt's most famous scholars, including Samira Musa. Ali Mustafa Mosharafa was born on the 11th of July 1898 in the city of Dumyat, and the eldest son of Mustafa Mosharafa was one of the notables of that city and its wealthy, and one of the masters in the sciences of religion influenced by the ideas of Jamal al-Din al-Afghani and Muhammad Abdo rationality in understanding Islam and fighting heresies and superstitions, and he was one of the Mujtahids in religion and has followers and followers of His Highness the owner of the Fifth Doctrine. He received his first lessons at the hands of his father and then at the school of Ahmed al Ketbi, and he was always one of the first in the study, but his childhood was devoid of all its joys, as he says about it, I used to perish as a child in order to be in the foreground, so my childhood was devoid of all joyful. I learned at that age that playing is a waste of time, as his mother used to say, I learned dignity and stillness at the age of fun and fun, even running I considered it a departure from dignity. He was 11 years old when he lost his father in 1909, after he lost his fortune in cotton speculation in 1907 and lost his land, money and even his home, Ali found himself the head of a destitute family consisting of a mother, sister and three brothers, so this situation forced them to leave for Cairo and live in one of the modest apartments in the Abdeen neighborhood, while Ali joined the Abazir Secondary School in Alexandria, where he spent a year in the free internal section. Then moved to the Sadia school in Cairo and for three years well for his academic excellence, he obtained the first section of the secondary certificate, Efficiency, in 1912, and the second section, Baccalaureate, in 1914, and he was ranked second in the whole country at the age of 16, which is a unique event in the world of education in Egypt. Then, this excellence qualified him, especially in scientific subjects, to enroll in any higher school of his choice, such as medicine or engineering, but he preferred to join the higher teacher's house, from which he graduated after three years with the first place, so the Ministry of Public Education chose him to a scientific mission to Britain at its expense. A new phase of his scientific career began with his enrollment in the autumn of 1917 at the University of Tottingham, from which he obtained a bachelor's degree in mathematics in three years instead of four. During the outbreak of the 1919 revolution led by Sardzar Glow, Mustafa Mosharrafa wrote to his friend Mahmoud Fami al nokrashi one of the leaders of the revolution, telling him his desire to return to Egypt to participate in the revolution, and Nokrashi's answer was, We need you as scientist more than we need you a revolutionary, complete your studies and you can serve Egypt in the universities of England more than you serve it in the streets of Egypt. The result drew the attention of his professors who suggested to the Egyptian Ministry of Education to continue his supervisor of his studies of science at the University of London, and he responded to their request, and in 1920 he joined the Royal College, King's College, from which he obtained in 1923 a doctorate in the philosophy of science under the supervision of the famous physicist Charles T. Wilson, Nobel for Physics in 1927, and then obtained in 1924 a doctorate of science from the University of London, the highest scientific degree. His most important works. He turned to translating scientific references into Arabic after the study was in English, so he established a translation department in the college. 
He encouraged scientific research and the establishment of scientific societies, and founded the Egyptian Society for Mathematical and Natural Sciences and the Egyptian Academy for Scientific Culture. He was also interested in the Arab scientific heritage, so he and his student Mohammed Morsi Ahmed investigated and published the book Al Jibra and the interview with Al Khwarizmi.